Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Debian 12.9 on VMware Workstation. First we will download the Debian 12.9 ISO file. Go to Debian official website that is debian.org. Hit enter, click on other downloads, then click on download mirrors, then go up, then click on DVD C under CD DVD or DVD USB click on this AMD 64 or i386 so click on AMD 64 then scroll down see here we have the Debian 12.9 DVD ISO file and its size is 3.7 gigabytes click on it to download no need to register anything see it automatically started downloading go to downloads see here its size is 3.7 gigabytes I am cancelling this one because I have already downloaded. In your case, wait until download completes. Once download is completed, then open VMware Workstation. If you want to install VMware Workstation on your machine, then there is a link in the video description. You can go through it and you can install it for free. Okay, click on it. Now, click on create a new virtual machine or file and select new virtual machine. Both are same. Then, click on next. Then, select the installer disk image file. Then, click on browse for the DVD ISO file then select the downloaded DVD ISO file then click on open then click on next then provide the name for the virtual machine then select the location to store this virtual machine files and folders click on browse then select the drive where you have the NS space then make a folder for this virtual machine then click on ok then click on next here we have to provide our disk size. I am giving 50 gigabytes. It is up to you. Then click on next. See by default memory selected 2 gigabytes. So I want to increase it to 4 gigabytes. For okay with this one, keep as it is. Click on customize hardware to change the properties. Use this pointer. Then click on close. Then unselect the checkbox. That is power on this virtual machine after creation. Why? I will tell you. Click on finish. See why I asked you to unselect. Still, if you want edit settings, you can edit. Okay. Or right click, then select settings. Or VM and select settings. All three options are same. If you are okay with all the settings, then click on power on this virtual machine. Then use up and down arrows and select the first one that is graphical install and hit enter. Select the language and click on continue. Select your location from this list. If you are unable to find your location, click on other. Okay, I am going with United States as my location. Then click on continue. Keyboard, I am making English. Now, provide the host name. This is the host name or computer name. We can change this later also. Then click on continue. Here we have to provide the domain name. I don't have any domain, so if you have domain name, we can provide here. Otherwise, keep it as blank and click on continue. Now we have to set the password for root account. Provide the password. Then click on continue. Now we have to create a new user. For that new user, we have to provide full name. I am giving full name and Username same. This will be the username. Click on continue, then provide the password for this user. Then click on continue. See, we have to configure the clock. See, these all time zones are related to US because we have selected country as United States. That's why it is showing these zones. So I am going with Eastern. So click on continue. Now partition disk, I am going with guided use entire disk and continue. Select it and continue. All files in one partition and continue. Select finish partitioning and write changes to disk and continue. This is just confirmation. Select S yes and continue. Scanning for the installation media finds the label. So I don't want to scan for extra installation media continue because I don't have I don't want network mirrors so it is up to you 
I am going with non, click on continue. Don't want to participate in the package user survey. So select non, continue. See here, we have to select the softwares. So by default it has selected genome. If you want XFC or Cinnamon or KD Plasma, it is up to you. So I am going with web server and SSH server. Then click on continue. Select the options that you like. See, install the grub bootloader to your primary drive. Select S and continue. Select the device and continue. See, installation is completed. So, it is time to boot into your new system. Make sure to remove the installation media so that you boot into new system rather than restarting the installation. Okay. So, right click on this virtual machine. Select settings. Then click on CD, DVD, then unselect these two checkboxes. Then click on OK. Then click on Continue. Now click on Username and provide the password that we have set for this user. Hit Enter. Click on next, next, again next, it is up to you, skip, all done, click on start using Debian Linux. Now click on activities, show applications, open terminal, verify the version that we have installed, more slash etc os hyphen release. See we have installed Debian 12, okay, you took it, control it, now verify the IP of this machine, if config, not found, so IP ADDR, see this is the IP of the machine. Okay. So, the first step after connecting to Debian Linux is we have to update the package. Switch to root user for the root password. Update the packages. apt update ampersand ampersand apt upgrade. Hit enter. See, we got the error. So, for this error, the solution is open a browser. Copy this error. Error, copy it, paste here. We have to add all these. So, copy all these. Okay. Now, go to terminal. CD slash etc apt ls. See here, we have the sources dot list file. Sudo. Sudo is not required because we are already with root account. Anyway, sudo vi sources dot list. Hit enter. Comment the first one. Press I to insert mode, put the hash, escape, shift A, hit enter, again hit enter, paste it, save the file, hit enter, now update the packages, so, apt, update, ampersand, ampersand, apt, upgrade, hit enter, see, now we are able to update the packages, type and hit enter. See, updation and upgradation is, so this may take time. So, in this video, we have seen how to download and install Debian 12.9 on VMware Workstation. For more tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.